Yo, what is good everybody? It's Prairie Sage back some more Shinobi Striker content and today we are covering the top 5 things that I think should be implemented in Season 2 of Shinobi Striker. Uh, I really have high hopes for this game and I think that the devs are trying to, uh, you know, revive this game and make it uh, better for the players. But yeah, these are the top 5 things that I think that should be implemented in Season 2. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you can be updated on my videos. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, now I've created a list of 5 things that I think that should be implemented in Season 2, like I've said. And the first thing that I think we need in Shinobi Shaker is maps. Maps for the survival mode specifically. I might do another video on the other, um, the other modes. But for maps for survival mode, I think that the first tuning exams uh, map would be awesome if y'all don't know that I'll have a picture right here in front of you guys But yeah, this is the first tuning exam It's where uh, if you don't uh, remember it's where Ga uh, Rock Lee and Gara fought it, it's it has that those giants um, those giant hands with the hand seals It's a really cool place. I think that it'll be perfect and the perfect size for the uh, survival mode And I think that would be a really good map for the survival mode of Shinobi Sharker All right, so the second map will be the Barto um tuning exams map i think that place looks really cool um i haven't really got to uh watching barto really but i've seen a couple of clips and i think that looks perfect and uh, exactly exactly the right size um that would be good for uh, shinobi sharker and i've noticed that they don't really have too much barto content in shinobi shark and i think that they should they should add more characters and maps uh, things like that because it is naruto to barto shinobi shaker and i think that the barto tuning exams map will be perfect for the survival mode and uh yeah now the third map that i think that they should add in survival mode will be the forest of death i think that would be awesome just having a bunch of trees and it'll be bigger than the tuning exams map that already we already have just be a bit bigger they don't have to make it you know huge like some real battle royale but um yeah i think that'll be cool you know trying to find people and hiding behind trees and stuff like that trying to run away i think that uh it would look really cool it would kind of look like the the hidden leaf forest but a bit more um how would i say more overgrown and just you know i have maybe have some snakes in there just to add a bit of um life to it but yeah i think that the forest of death would be a great map for the survival mode of shinobi striker all right the second thing on my list is colored jutsu or customizable colors for the jutsu i think this would look awesome i mean just imagine shooting a purple or blue fireball jutsu i think that would be great i've talked about this since the game has started um uh, i think it'll work like this if the uh, the other team can't see it because they'll they have to know if it's the enemy or their teammate and your team can see uh the colors that you have on but i think this will be awesome i think it'll just like add more life and um colors to the game i think this will be a great uh thing to add in shinobi striker and uh yeah color jutsu will be like honestly if i could choose anything on this list will probably color jutsu or uh the maps honestly but color jutsu is one of the best uh things i think they should add in shinobi striker in terms of uh customizable content all right the third thing on the list will be dual uh dual room in lobby i've thought i thought about this and talked to my friends about this for so long guys you don't even know i've always wanted a dual room in the lobby so you know how there's like a bunch of rooms uh there's the um 10 10 room which gives you weapons all that the shop the sakura room where you equip all your things the sasuke where you get your vr masters kakashi where you do the missions i think they say they can add one more room where a uh, guy sensei or um mike guy is in front of the uh room and you enter you can do uh 1v1s 2v2s or 3v3s things like that and you can have duels uh, with your friends you d you can or you can have it with randoms you can just go and you'll find people that want to play um i think this will be an awesome implement that uh, awesome thing to implement in the game uh, personally, I think this will be like just really cool between games. Maybe if you're starting a game, you just want to have a duel real quick with your friend because maybe the game is not uh, starting real quickly. But yeah, I think dual room will be awesome thing to implement in Shinobi Striker in the lobby room. 
Alright guys, now the fourth thing on my list will be new modes. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress this enough. We have been playing the same four modes in Shinobi Striker for so long. We have the flag battle, combat battle, um, barrier battle, and base battle. And I really think they're getting old by now. Um, flag battle has been updated a bit, but that's not enough. I think new modes will be great. You know, just have the same maps. But new modes would be great. Now, the first mode that I uh, uh, could think of was a war mode. This would be so cool. Maybe make a new map, or you could. There's a the hidden um, leaf forest uh, map. If you there's a gate right there. I'm show up a picture right now. But there's a gate right there. If you, they could just open up that gate, it would make it so much bigger. And I think an 8v8 on that map would be awesome. Or they can just make a new map if they have the resources to do that. But yeah, I think an, um, a war mode in Shinobi Shark would be so awesome. Uh, it would kind of be like 50 v 50 in Fortnite if you've ever played that. I don't really play Fortnite that much anymore, but um, well at all really. But uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of if you think of that, it's kind of like that. A 8 v 8 in Shinobi Shark would be awesome in my opinion. Now the second mode would be King of the Hill. Uh, so it would basically be like base battle, but it would be just one base in the middle of the map, and it would be much bigger. And I think this would be an awesome thing to implement in the game. Um, it would kind of be like normal base battle, but if you take A and C um, away and just have B, but make it bigger, basically. That's that's basically uh, what I want them to add, really. I mean, they could just have the same maps. And I think um, King of the Hill and the War mode would be an, uh, two awesome modes, um, personally, to add in Shinobi Strikers. Alright guys, now the last and final thing on my list will be KK Genkai. Oh my gosh, why do they not have this in the game? I think this will be a great thing to implement in Season 2 of Shinobi Striker. Uh, but yeah, just have uh, characters that have KK Genkai. These are just four things, uh, four characters that I can th think of that have really cool KK Genkai Jutsu. But first is Haku with her eye style Jutsu. I think that would be awesome. Uh, the Mizukage, uh, the red hair Mizukage with lava uh, style Jutsu. I think that would be awesome. Some Gurin with her crystal dodge too. If you don't know Gurin, she's from the um, Three Tails arc. You might not remember her, um, but she was a uh, uh, she was she did have a kick again Kai, and that was crystal style. I think like having the uh, crystal uh, dragon jutsu would be awesome. I'll show a picture up right now. But yeah, um, and the last and final kick again Kai I could think of was Kimi Maru with his bones, uh, bone style jutsu or whatever it's called. But I think that would be awesome. All of these jutsus would be great in Shinobi Striker. Um, and uh, yeah, that's going to be all for the uh, list. Alright guys, that's going to be all from my list of 5 things that I need. I think they should add in Shinobi Striker Season 2. Please check out my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the bell for notifications. And uh, yeah, I think I uh, I really have uh, see a bright future for Shinobi Striker. Uh, I really look forward to playing this game more and more. Uh, in season two and uh, i look forward to all the dlc to not a madara obito all of the above all the characters that they might be adding in the future and uh yeah kirby sage out peace